What's up kings and queens, it's your boy Dan from Duff Previews and in today's video I'm going to share with you seven of my best bets on this upcoming slate of WNBA games. If it's your first time checking out the channel, I encourage you to subscribe, absolutely smash that button because I drop heat just like this every single day. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I can't do it without you. What I do is I share my screen, we go through my best bets, I give you all the data and my exclusive insights and if that sounds interesting, Let's go. So the tool we're using is called Outlier. If you haven't seen Outlier before, I do have a seven-day free trial in the video description below. It's my go-to tool for all of my player props. It gives me all the data, all the insights that I need. And damn, I've been cashing out since I jumped on board. The first game we're going to kick it off with is the Washington Mystics versus the Minnesota Lynx. And in this particular game, I've only got one pick, but I'm going to share it with you. So let's get through it right now. I'm looking at Ariel Atkins, under 21.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Now, this matchup for her is tough as hell against Lynx. They have excellent perimeter defense. Where they're actually most vulnerable is in the restricted area. But that's where Atkins scores the fewest of her points. The Lynx, they have a top three defensive rating. They don't allow many free throws. And they're the second best team at defending above the break, which is where Ariel Atkins scores most of her points. Now, against the top three teams in defensive ranking, Ariel Atkins is under this line in eight out of 11 games, averaging 17.9 points, rebounds, and assists. Now, on top of all this, she injured her ankle in the last game. And if she does play, I doubt that she's going to be 100% healthy. So jump on board, take Ariel Atkins under in her points, rebounds, and assists. If that's not available, the 14.5 points, the under on that is your next best play. It's going to be sweaty, but she does finish on 14 points a lot. But that's what I'm thinking for that particular game. So we're jumping into the Dream versus the Fever. Now this pick right here, this next one, it is horny as fuck, and you don't want to miss it. Pumping the brakes real quick, I've got 44 pending bets for VIP across the WNBA and the NFL, and I am fucking pumped. I've got stacks of straight bets, parlays, and combos. Even if we get half of the bets right and they go according to the script, we should be up around 10 to 20 units profit. Now, the promo code Chiefs already got maxed out but I've created another one for you so that you can get in on the action with me. Click on the link in the video description now or in the pinned comment. It'll take you straight to this page. Then all you need to do is type in the code money. Let me do it for you right now. Money, 50% of your first month and you get access to every single bet that I make. Jump on, ride these 44 bets with me. The link's in the pinned comment and in the video description below. So with this next pick, we're taking Caitlin Clark over 20.5 points. Now, what can I say? She's on fire at the moment. She's also playing at home in this one where she averages two more points per game when she's compared to when she's on the road. Now, she's been under this line, though, in three straight games against the Atlanta Dream this season. But when I looked into the data, her shot volume was down. She averaged only 12 shots per game. Now, post the Olympic break, I'm sure we've all seen it. She's gone absolutely ballistic. She's taking 17 shot attempts per game. She's over this line in seven out of the nine games post the break. Her only game where she's played the Atlanta Dream at home, where she's a lot better, she only scored seven points, but that game was back in June. Now, Clark's a much better player right now, and her confidence is sky high, breaking all of these records. So back Caitlin Clark to punish this line. Over to my next pick, we're staying in the same game. Looking at Kelsey Mitchell here, and I also like her over 20.5 points. Let's take a look. Similar to Clark, she's on fire right now without a doubt. And look, I'm not going to bore you with all the data. I'm just going to lay it down like this. The Indiana Fever have three main scorers, Caitlin Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, and Aaliyah Boston, right? And in every single game, and I might be making this up, but two of the three go over their points line, and sometimes all three of them do. Now, looking at Aaliyah Boston, she's got a tough matchup in this one, and she always finds a way to get into foul trouble. Her scoring has been terrible over the last 10 games, and I expect that to continue in this one, and I think we see Mitchell and Clark fill up the box score again. So ride the backcourt of the Indiana Fever, take the over up against the Atlanta Dream. Now, talking about the Atlanta Dream, we can't forget about Ryan Howard. This woman is an absolute machine, and we have to bet her. Now, I'm looking at over 3.5 three-pointers made. That's a real plus money play right now. And it feels like it was only yesterday where you could catch Ryan Howard over 2.53 pointers at plus money. But those days are long gone. But look, I'm still willing to play it. 
Now, this matchup is ideal for some three-point bombs. The Fever allow the second most three-point attempts, the second most threes above the break, and they allow the most points to guards on the season. Now, Howard is fresh off, off the back of two 30-point games. And in those games, she attempted 15 and 17 three-pointers. Now, she was averaging 10 three-point attempts per game prior to, prior to this. So she's going to go into it full of confidence, and she's going to let these things fly. Now, she's played two games against the Fever already this season. She knocked down six and four three-pointers in those outings. So I think she's going to keep doing what she does. She's going to throw it up. She's going to get those Caitlin Clark vibes. She's going to get excited. And she's going to let those threes go. So take up over 3.5 plus money play. And if it doesn't win, you can blame me for it. That's fine. I can take the blame for that one. And before I get to this next pick, I have to show you something. This is called Odds Checker Plus. It's pretty new. Not many people have seen it or used it, but it is a free tool to use and it gives you plus EV plays and it has an AI predictor, which surprisingly works pretty well. I've been using it to cash in on MLB and college football props purely because I don't know any of those players, but man, it's been working for me. I hit two plus money plays in the MLB today on people I don't know, and it was purely because of this tool. So check it out. It is free right now. The links for it are below. Now, jumping into the next game, it's the Aces versus the Liberty. The Titans collide. And for this particular game, believe it or not, despite how many great players are going to be playing in this one, I only managed to find bet that I actually, one bet that I really liked. And for that, you might not like it, but I'm looking at Asia Wilson, MVP of this season for sure, and I'm looking at taking her under 40.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Now, she's struggled to hit this number in tough matchups this season. Check out these numbers. Uh, a top five teams in defensive rating. She's under this under this line in eight out of 11 games, averaging 37.6 points, rebounds, and assists. The outlier insights telling us that over her last five games against the top five defenses for assists allowed, she's gone under in four straight. Now, against the Liberty... Tough matchup for Asia, and she struggled. Check this out. I wouldn't say struggled, but she hasn't met this number, right? She's under in both games this season with PRAs of 33 and 35 in the two games. She's under in 10 out of the last 11 games against the Liberty. Now, in order for her to get the over 40.5 PRA, something amazing has got to happen. She needs to have a massive scoring game of 30-plus points, and if she doesn't, she needs to get a decent number of points, and a whole lot of rebounds, and she needs to chip in some assists as well. I just don't see her being able to do all of that in this particular game because I think the Liberty have got a number in this one. So take the under if you're brave. Asia Wilson under 40.5 PRA. And when I said that was only the only play that I liked in this game, I lied. I just remembered I found one more. We're looking at Betanija Laney Hamilton, and we're looking to take her rebound prop, not 3.5. I'm taking 4.5. Um, you get much better odds for it, but for outlier, I've only got the option of 3.5. But I'm letting you know, taking over 4.5, and the reasons are very much the same. Now, she's four games back returning from injury. She started playing her full complement of minutes over her last two games. In those games, five and six rebounds. Now, the Aces, they allow the most rebounds to forwards this season, and they have the third worst rebounding rating. I've crunched the numbers here for Betanija Laney Hamilton, and against the bottom five teams in rebound rating, she's covered this line in six of her last seven games, averaging 5.7 rebounds when she plays more than 30 minutes. She's played one game against the Aces already this season. She holds in seven rebounds in that game in 35 minutes of action. So I'm back in Betanija Laney Hamilton to keep the rebounds flowing. Over 4.5, get it plus money. And if you want to be safe, you can take the 3.5. I'll leave it up to you. So jumping into the next one now, it's the Wings versus the Sky. And I normally love betting on games where the Dallas Wings are in it. I just couldn't find an angle for the Dallas Wings today. So the only pick that I have in this game is for Kennedy Carter. I'm taking her over in her points prop. Let's talk about it. 20.5 points for Kennedy Carter. Uh, and might even ladder this up to 25. Now this 20.5 is the highest line we've probably seen for Carter this season. And it makes a lot of sense why. For one, the matchup with Dallas is perfect. They're dead last in transition defensive rating, and they are second last in defending pick and roll ball handlers. These are the two dominant play types for Kennedy Carter. And if we include that Angel Reese is out for the rest of the season, there should be a few more shots going Carter's way. She scored 19 points in her last matchup against them. This was back in June. Um, and she did that on only 10 shot attempts. Now she's played. 
She's played games with 30 plus minutes. Sorry, she's played four games with 30 plus minutes this season. And in those games, she averages about 18 shot attempts. So if she can get close to that many shot attempts up against this Dallas team, I think she covers this line easy, especially how bad Dallas are defensively. This pace of the game should be fast, and Kennedy Carter should be able to get a lot of buckets on him. The last game, it's between the Sun and the Sparks. I've gone through every single player. I looked at every single angle, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not betting on this game because I didn't love anything in here. Um, like I said, I've got 44 pending bets. No need for me to force out another one. But if you're interested in checking out those 44 bets, my VIP is the place to go. So please join me. Get on board. Use the code MONEY. Get 50% of your first month. This NFL stuff, I cannot wait. i got my Dolphin shirt on. Let me know in the comment section, which team in the NFL do you ride or die for? For me, it's the Dolphins. It's purely because they, they're excitement machines. I don't give a shit whether they win or not. I just like watching their games, and I love the color of their uniforms. But look, if you made it this far, I do appreciate you. I'm sure I'll catch you guys in the next one. Best of luck to us if you choose to ride with me. Peace.